Hi, Travis of Spunk here. I got a question about an old video I did back in November of 2023 where I was showing Dashboard Studio and how to customize a pie chart and table. Now the question was around the column chart and if I can do the same thing. And yes, you can. However, it's a little bit different. Uh, why it's different is because Splunk has always improving Dashboard Studio Builder working to add new features so always check out the release notes but let's jump over to the documentation here i have it pulled up and you can come through here and start reading about you know the the bar and column charts and what you can and cannot do and inside of here i did find way at the bottom here if i look at column chart options the same text series colors and series colors by five or field series colors by field but it's actually easier than this now let me jump back over to what i'm calling a dashboard studio playground here and show you a pie chart now i have not went in there and come down here let me click on a pie chart and come down to a source code i haven't made any changes so i'm just using the default settings but one thing i did notice i believe the series colors here before you didn't have this option, but now you can add or subtract colors if you'd want. But for a line chart, it's even more simple than that. If I come up here to general and I click on the visualization type and go to her column chart, column. Now column here, now we can see I've switched over and I've got one color representing you know, each country that I'm blocking. Now, why it's showing up with just one color. I mean, I can come in here and change the color of that. And that's where we have series color by field name. I don't believe this was an option before. I'd have to go install an older version or whatnot, but it's there now. So we could, you know, click in here, add a field, there's country and change, you know, the country field. Actually, it's not country I would want to change. It'd be total. And then you can see it's starting to change colors right there already. Now, using, you know, maybe I want different countries to have different colors. We can, we can do that. Come back up here to, all right, there's canvas. Oh, I got to click back in here. And how we can get, you know, different countries to light up different colors would be to go into our search. So let's look at data sources. And this is just search underscore one. I didn't change the name or anything. But right now I'm doing a stats count. And that's because I'm, I was using a pie chart. What I'd like to do here is a time chart. And we're going to do count as total by country. As soon as I hit apply, it should update this. Not. There we go. It does update it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go down to maybe 15 minutes see if I can get a little bit more data. So I have two countries here and we can see United States is in blue. I don't know if I, yeah, I didn't think that would work. Um, it, hopefully it's coming up across here where you can read the text. But anyway, United States is in this blue that's really high and Canada happens to be in purple. So I'm gonna close source code here. Actually, I gotta come and click back into the column chart is which I'm using here. And we're looking at data display again. I can actually just minimize data sources. And inside of, you know, color, yeah, not data display, but color and style, I can see here series colors by field name. And I already had one there. But let's make Canada red. And let's add a field for United States. So now you can see I'm able to start defining a, a color for certain fields. I'll go back in there. You know, maybe I don't want, you know, United States to be, you know, this teal color, maybe more of a dark blue. So now you will have to, you know, I could come back down here. Let's go look at the source code and see what it's doing. If I, there is certain countries, you know, we could, Go in here and edit the series color by field and put that in there um or i can open this back up to maybe you know four hours and i'll get a few more countries 
you know, maybe a certain country I always want to turn red. They like Germany, you know, maybe I want them to be more yellow. Now, I didn't click right. I didn't click correctly. But what I need to do is actually, oops, come back into here, click on series colors by field name, and then add a field. If you notice, it always puts underscore time. So I'll have to go in and add the other countries that have shown up. So if there is a common country that's coming up, or if I want, say, Russia to be red, Russia to be whatever color you want, or Canada, keep it red, that's going to be up to you. Or if it's blocked, I want red and allowed, however you want. So make sure that you are you know, creating a search. I come back up here to data sources, creating a search that's going to work with column charts. And then you should get, as I scroll down, oh, wait a minute, I have to cancel this. And underneath color and style, you should get this option of series colors by field name. Now I am running Splunk Core 9.4.0 as of this recording. So that is a quick, you know, I, I figured it would be better for me to show you instead of just typing in the, the comment section. Hopefully this is answers your question and you're able to figure it out. If not leave another comment and I'll see what I can do. And as always, happy spelunking.